Welcome back to the road show this morning in the buzz. New study says over half of Americans say they feel guilty about spending money unless because they uh, they find the same item um, they bought at a better price later on. Yeah, but discounts can help. Mm -hmm. uh, participants say they feel the most guilty when treating themselves to a nice meal or buying clothing. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had this buyer's remorse? Uh, not so much with, with like if I go out to dinner. That I'm not so worried about, mm -hmm. but I will if I buy something. I'll like look at it. You know, like I'll look up things on YouTube for weeks ahead of time. Yeah. Especially if it's you know, something expensive. See if other people liked it. Then I'll go go and I'll convince myself. You know what? You don't need it. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, you know what? I do want it. And I'll go back and look at it again. I may even go on to like whatever website it is and put it in the shopping cart. Mm -hmm. And then I'll take it out. You know, then I'll remove it. Yeah. I go back and forth all the time. I have this conversation all the time. I think Amazon is tough for that because you you go on for the purpose of, fi you know, you have something in mind. You want right. to go and you find it. Then on the bottom it says, people who bought this also bought. Right, and then I see X, that. X, Y, and Z. And then you think, I'd like X, Y, and Z. Sure. Okay. Yeah. And it's always those little extra items that then afterwards you go, I didn't need to spend mm -hmm. an extra $20. Mm -hmm. I'll feel guilty a lot when I'm buying food, even at the grocery store sometimes. I'm like, oh, here we go again. Here's another $100 on food. And I have to tell myself, well, it's food, I need it. But at the same time, yeah. it's like, oh, I feel guilty over any purchase lately. Yeah, food, I don't, I'm not so bad about. Like food, yeah. I will go to the market. But going and out to eat? Going out to eat. Oof, uh, going out to I eat. don't do that anymore. No, <laughs> going out to eat, I'm okay with too. But I, if it's if it's clothes or if it's... Something that I want, like mm -hmm. I will buy it, and I get so like psyched up about it, like hyped up about it. Yeah. Like I said, I'll go online and everything else, and then I'll get it. And then, like BB King says, the thrill is gone. The thrill is gone. <laughs> yeah, the thrill is gone. And I'm kind of like, oh, all right, well now I got it. And now, now what, what do I want? Now what am right. I going to do with this thing? Is there an item that's sitting in your house currently that you're like, oh, why, why? It's been sitting there. I've never used it. I haven't uh, opened it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Is there an item that's in the house? There probably is. There I bet mean, if everyone is. does it, if yeah. everyone does a scan of their house, there's probably an item or two that you're going to look at and go, oh, there's that book that I never read. Right. Or there's that item that I never opened. That I never used. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things like yeah. that. Or I'll get it. The and shirt you never wore with his tag on well, it. Well, that's also, that is actually a good thing because I have bought a bunch of shirts and I put them in the closet mm -hmm. and the tags are hanging on them and I, and, I never, and I don't wear them. And I don't know why I don't wear them. I don't know why either. Like, because the other day you had a shirt, remember, and it had the grease <laughs> holes in it. I know, Get rid of that one. I know, one. that's the one that needs to go, and I never do that. Get rid of that one and wear a new one. Right, or they're hanging in the closet, they have the tags on them, and I'm like, oh, I don't want it to get ruined. Oh, well, oh, so, so it sits in the closet. That's another thing. You buy an item, and you're like, I can't wait to wear this. I don't want to, like, waste it now. I don't want to <laughs> save it now. And then you've waited months to wear said item, and... That's what's going on. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to go home, and I'm throwing out those shirts. I'm Not the ones with the no, tags no. on. Not okay. the ones with the tags, but the other one that I have a hole in it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for pointing I know. Out. It's uh, okay. No, it's, it's true. With grease holes. It's not just holes. It's grease holes. Yeah. And it is. There's a reason for it. There yeah. was a reason well, for it. Well, it did its job. It, it did its job. It a long time. I and will thank it. get rid of it. <laughs> and say goodbye. It no longer brings joy to me, and mm -hmm. I will throw it away. Yes. All right. Uh, now to someone who does bring some joy, Brendan. Pressure's on. Pressure's on to bring the joy. Uh, you're too kind. Just a purveyor of mirth yes. is what I am. I got to say, I have this whole drawer filled with Menudo t-shirts. Oh, yeah. Do I really need those guys? Sell them on eBay. I could, but you made such great points, as both of you do every morning. Thank you. I have tons of t-shirts, uh, not necessarily Menudo, but like, you know, Metallica ones and mm -hmm. like these Jordans, like basketball stuff. And like, I don't need all these t-shirts. Mm -hmm. I don't wear them as much anymore. So then when I'm out and about and I'm might see something in a store I like, I just think it's just probably going to sit in, in the closet, mm, you know? You talk yourself out of it. Yeah. Now, or, is it original Menudo? Like Ricky Martin Menudo? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, is there check. any other? Yeah, there actually was, <laughs> believe it or not. Yeah. There actually was. Anyone tuning not in? Brandon's in mine. Not Brandon's mind. Not Brandon's mind. Anyone tuning in right now says, what year is it? <laughs> actually, the person who's closed captioning this right now is going, wow, Ricky what? Martin was coming. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> All right, well, more importantly now, what do our social media friends have to say? Let's find out together. Debbie Smoose is up first, sharing her indulgence. I am a sucker for shoes. See, I know what this is like, because I have a lot of sneakers, a lot of Jordans and Converse and stuff, so I can empathize it's here. Like Jonas Brothers song. I'm a sucker, <laughs> it's a sucker for you, not shoes. I have so many, uh, but I keep buying them. Have a great day. Yeah, Debbie, it's, it's tough to put the brakes down there. You have a great day as well. Josephine Slop adds, we work hard. We deserve guilt-free, treat-yourself moments. 
I never thought when I wanted to get into TV that I'd be uttering the words, treat yourself in a broadcast. And lastly, Gene Wiley Sadler closes things out with, after paying rent, bills, and buying food, I have no money left for guilty spending. However, I will once in a while buy something totally unnecessary for myself and not feel guilty enough to return it. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes you just have to splurge. You have to let loose a little bit and have some fun. But, you know, be practical about it. Weigh the options, right? Thanks, everyone. We love when you chime in. Please leave your comments on the bus topic each morning on Facebook, and we may even read yours right here on the show. You can also like and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. All of those are easily found at the Roadshow. For now, Michaela is in the kitchen with the maestro of the kitchen, Mr. Nick Rabar.